Interesting facts about the Bible, part 8. Did you know that Goliath had four sons and a brother? There has been much discussion on why David picked up five stones to fight Goliath. I have heard things like he had to be extra prepared or he didn't have enough faith. Well, a lack of faith wouldn't seem to make sense since here is a young boy having more faith than the whole army of Israel. He wouldn't even wear the king's armor. The reality of it is he had such great faith he was prepared to fight Goliath's four sons. In the culture of the day, if your parent was killed by someone, you were bound by oath to revenge your parent. David knew that he would probably have to face the wrath of Goliath's sons. According to 2 Samuel 21, 15-22, Goliath had four sons that were also giants. If you read the King James Version, and I already explained that this is an inaccurate translation, it calls them his brothers. However, the original Hebrew supports it being his sons instead, because there is a Goliath Jr. So in 2 Samuel 21, 16-17, Ishbi Benab was killed by Abishai. In verse 18, Saph was killed by Sebekai. And then in verse 19, Goliath the second was killed by Elhanan, who also killed Lami, the brother of Goliath the first, mentioned in First Chronicles 25. There was an unnamed giant who was also killed by David's nephew, Jonathan, in verse 20. So David and his men made it their goal to wipe out these wicked giants, and they succeeded in this life mission. So where did these giants come from? Well, many believe that they are descendants of Nephilim, called Anakim. Now, these giants were probably descended from Ham, Noah's son, and many people believe that even though the Nephilim were wiped out, that Ham's wife had some Nephilim blood in her and why there were still giants like the Anakim after the flood.